G'day legends, Fat Murph here. Just stuck down to the, uh, I've got a bit of a trip coming up, so I thought I'd duck down to Kings and get a bit of gear for my trip. And thought I might just show you uh, some of the new stuff they got in there. Um, I grabbed myself the new, one of the new lithium torches they've got, which looks uh, like a pretty good little bit of kit. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, I'm just charging it up. So once I get that set up, I'll give you guys a bit of a review on that and let you know how it goes. But as with everything from Kings, you know, I went down to get a couple of things and uh, you can pay full fare for one item or you can bundle it up with some other stuff and you get a few bits and pieces. It's a little bit cheaper and you get a bit more gear. So the guys down there were really great. I ended up, uh, I've got a couple of awning walls because I've just put a new 270 degree awning on the uh, Land Cruiser and uh, one of their rooftop tents, which is uh, so far working out to be pretty good. And um, so I've got the uh, lithium power bank they gave me as a bit of a bundle. I've grabbed myself a bit of a King's GoPro sort of knockoff camera that they do, so I'll do a bit of a review on that, as well as I picked up the new uh, King's 1500 watt on Verna that I'm going to bash in the Land Cruiser so I can have a bit of power to, just for charging up Makita batteries and stuff. So I'll give you a quick look at this uh, this camera, see see what's in the uh, pack. Looks, uh, looks the goods. Comes in a nice little bag. I don't know if you can see that, and uh, just open him up, see what's in here. So we've got the user manual, which, you know, we don't read that. Um, there, there's the camera itself. Looks pretty much like a bit of a knockoff of the GoPro, actually. But, um, yeah, I don't know what the quality is. It says 4K, so we'll see what see what uh, it goes like. Um, this looks like it's got a heap of, heap of mounts in here, all different types of sticky mounts that you can mount on as well as uh, this one can mount on a rail or on, if you're on, in a motorbike or stuff you got the um, handlebar mount it looks like um, cleaning cloth looks like a bit of a hand strap or whatever you'd use that for I don't know and of course the charging cord so it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad for what it was I think it was about uh, I think it was about 70 bucks and then I they said you could, uh, they threw in this power pack as well, which was about 45 bucks. So got the whole thing for about 70 bucks, which is pretty good value, really. Um, it made it easy for everyone to go camping. You go down and get the gear there. As I said, I've put the new 270 on the Land Cruiser, and uh, she's uh, not a bad thing. It's not the best one in the world, but looks like it works pretty good. It's pretty sturdy, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've got a trip I'm planning this year, so uh, we're going on a big trip try and do the canning stock route and that sort of stuff so it'll come in handy. I'll we'll just open up this inverter quickly as well and give you a little bit of a squeeze of that so you can see what's in the box there. Looks like it comes with, yeah, it comes with, sorry excuse the bench here guys, I've got rubbish everywhere just from fitting out the ute and all the other bits and pieces. I've got stuff everywhere and I've got about a hundred projects to do before I go in four weeks time. But anyway yeah so it comes with the two power leads which is good. They look like they're reasonably heavy duty. Right, and give you a bit of a look at the inverter. Comes in a plucky bag. Take that out. Again, another set of instructions, which you know we never read them, do we, guys? But uh, guys and girls, I should say. But yeah, that's it there. 1500 watt inverter. It's got two plugs on the end here, it looks like. On and off button. Bit of a USB charger. And I think that. That uh, port there is you can get a remote control for turning it on and off. A couple of fans at the back there. And um, yeah, all in all, doesn't look like too bad a bit of kit. Hopefully there's nothing loose running around in there. But again, I'll do a bit of a review on that and let you know how it goes. So anyway, uh, that's just a quick little run through of some of the stuff I've got today. It was like my birthday. So uh, pretty happy with the little bits you can get there. I think I've spent a couple of grand there in the last few weeks actually getting ready for this trip. So... Uh, maybe don't tell the wife that one but anyway uh, alright legends till I see you next time and uh, give you a bit of a have a bit more time to play with these toys I'll let you know how it goes righto thanks guys